Hi, this is Sean with OMU Energy, and today we're going to show you how to swap and upgrade the 12 volt battery in your Kia EV6. This is one of the uh, newest electric vehicles out there. We really like it. The EV drivetrain is awesome, 800 volts DC, uh, fast charging, which is really cool. Some really, really cool technology going on with these cars. So very optimistic and it looks like they're selling them pretty well. So uh, hopefully everybody out there with an EV6 is happy with their car. But we have seen a few early failures of the 12 volt systems and uh, a number of requests for the 12 volt battery on these cars. So we decided to quickly develop um, and, and add to our lineup because uh, our goal is to support all electric vehicles with 12 volt battery solutions that are better than what you get from the factory. So we added the, uh, our battery for this platform. Um, so we've got the EV6 covered and the Ionic 5 uh, Hyundai, and then the uh, Genesis GV60. So if you've got any of those, uh, we're, we're your source for the best 12 volt battery you can get, lithium 12 volt battery for uh, these vehicles. So today we're gonna show you the, the replacement process on this EV6. It's very easy and straightforward. Uh, much, much easier than, than most of the vehicles we've done before, which is mostly Teslas. A uh, couple things you'll, you'll want to keep in mind for safety, gloves, something with electrical uh, resistance. So these are, these are rubber coated and safety glasses. Um, those are the right safety tools to, to have uh, and, and to use when you're doing these, this kind of work. The tool set you really only need is a 10 millimeter and 12 millimeter sockets and socket wrench. Um, ideally, you would not use a socket wrench like this because this is full metal and you would use instead a composite socket wrench which would not conduct electricity just in case you end up tapping between the two terminals or something while you're working. So I will recommend that you use a composite or if you have one of these, tape it with electrical tape all the way out and you've got the same thing. You just wanna have an insulated tool. Um, the rule is with electrical tape, at least for high voltage, is, is three layers. So just follow the same thing as a smart idea. So just go three layers of electrical tape, one out, one back, one back out, and then you have an insulated uh, tool as well. So that is the, the, the deal. Um, the process on this car is, is very simple. You know, we're gonna disable high voltage. So we always do that in electric vehicles. It's very different than, than in non-electric vehicles. So in electric vehicles, DC to DC converters exist which take high voltage and convert it to 12 volt. Meaning if you disconnect the 12 volt battery, it's still completely possible that you have 12 volt live voltage without the 12 volt battery because it's coming from the high voltage system. So in that light, we always disconnect or disable the high voltage system and, and every vehicle makes it uh, easy to do that in one way or the other and we will show you how to do that in this vehicle. So we'll disable the high voltage and then we will disconnect the 12 volt battery and then we will uh, remove the 12 volt battery bracket and remove the battery, put in the better OMU battery, uh, reinstall the bracket, reconnect, and then re-engage the high voltage system. Once you've done all that, your car is good to go and uh, there lasts a really, really long time with your new 12 volt lithium battery. So let's get to it. Okay, first step, disable the high voltage system. So this is a fuse cover, pretty straightforward. You push the two tabs and lift straight up. Then set that to the side and you've got a little tag here. This is super nice, uh, done much better than any other EV I've seen so far. Just pull up, it'll unclick, that's it. You're done with a disabling high voltage system. So that's very, very convenient and we make sure to do that so that there's no 12 volt power while the vehicle is on coming from the high voltage pack. Next step, we're gonna remove this cover right here which just pulls straight off. Set that over to the side. Now we can work on removing the terminals. We always take the negative side off first, and the reason for that um, is that when it's floating around on its own, it, uh, it, if it taps the chassis, it's, it's just hitting its, its own self, and there's no chance for shorting. Um, we disabled the high voltage system, so the lines should be dead, but if there's any residual capacitance anywhere else in the car, this just, it's just a better practice to have a loose negative than to have a loose positive. Um, so we remove that and then we move on to the positive. You just pinch and rotate. The cover will open easily. And now we loosen this side. Both of these terminals are just 10 millimeter 
nuts. So you just loosen with a 10 millimeter socket. Once it's loose, pull straight up. And now this has a pretty long cord on it and it allows you to slide it all the way over here so you can get it out of the way. Next step is deeper down here. So we'll show you that in another shot. And you just loosen the 12 millimeter. Uh, if you have an extension, you can use it to reach a little better. You're just gonna remove the 12 millimeter bolt and take the bracket off. All right, to remove the battery, now that you got the brackets out, uh, you're just gonna slide it forward a little bit and that way a little bit. That'll get it out of the back bracket. Then lift up. As you're lifting, the front side can come out first and then the back side will follow as you pull up. And then tilt it that way to get the legs out from under there. And then you've got this heavy lead acid battery out and we're ready to put the light weight uh, ohm you in and we'll show you a weight comparison on the scale as well. All right, let's weight compare. Here is the lead acid battery that comes with your car. That is almost 32 pounds, 31 pounds, about 12 ounces. And here comes ohm you. And we're at 11 pounds, 15 ounces, so almost 12 pounds. Uh, so you're saving about 20 pounds of weight by switching from this lead anchor to this nice lightweight lithium deal. Um, so in addition to getting way longer life, you're also making your vehicle more efficient by making it lighter weight. And uh, every, bit of little, every little bit of range helps. So with a slightly lighter vehicle, you will go just ever so slightly further on a charge as well. All right, let's bring this nice Omu battery in here. Uh, we're gonna go back in the same way, just in reverse. So let it tip, tip in and then come down. We'll let the back go in first, go down. So. When it's down, let it fall into the tray at the front left, or front passenger side rather, and then slide it back and towards the driver's side. That will lock in the back two sides, and if you lift up in the back corner, you will feel that it's locked in as long as it's held into that spot. So then you can bring in this bracket, which will hold the passenger side and front side down as well. So we'll bring the bracket in, we'll tighten that down with a 12 millimeter socket wrench. You can start it by hand and get it pretty far, pretty well all the way down by hand and then just finish it with the socket wrench. Do make sure you get this fully seated, nice and snug, because that holds your battery in place. Okay, so if you've secured the bracket properly, the battery should not shift at all, forward, back, side to side, very, very firmly in its position. Leave these two caps on until you have to take them off because they provide you some element of safety in case of uh, dropping a tool or something across them. So first we'll take off the positive and we'll bring in the terminal. Just slide it over and then open the door on it again and then we will tighten that down. You'll want to tighten so it's nice and snug and it should not rotate on there. Then you can go ahead and close the door and move to the negative side. When you make this connection, you will see some sparks because it's going to energize the car. So make it uh, fairly quick so you don't have too much pitting or arcing on the terminal itself. Then go ahead and tighten that side down. Same degree of tightness so that it does not 
wiggle back and forth once it is secure. Now we can reconnect our high voltage by pressing the yellow tag back in. You'll hear it click in and that is connected. Once that is fully reconnected, we can go ahead and put our cover back on this fuse panel. It just pushes straight down. Make sure you go straight down. If you go in a kind of a funny angle, it tends to get jammed. And then we could put this cover back on here. Same thing, put it in place and then just press straight down and it will clip in place. Now your car is fully upgraded and you've got the OMU 12 volt lithium battery in there with uh, incredibly long life and total weight savings. It's more environmentally friendly. You're not gonna go through as many batteries with this battery. And uh, the material and makeup of the battery is, is uses far less materials and uh, more earth friendly materials. So this is, a, this is a really cool upgrade and a great way to go with, your, uh, with any electric vehicle, especially in these Kia EV6s, it's a good choice. Okay, now you've got your EV6 totally upgraded with a nice OMU 12 volt lithium battery and you're going to experience a much longer life. We've got about four times the life of the lead acid battery, much less weight, uh, feather light, the thing you'll, you'll feel it when you feel it. Uh, it's a third of the weight of the lead acid battery and it's more eco-friendly, one, because you're going to use less batteries, two, because there's far less material going into our batteries. And then also uh, in the long run, you're gonna save money because our batteries, again, last much longer. So there's far less periods that you need to spend time for service uh, of, of having the battery replaced for you or doing it yourself. Time is money and, and less batteries. So instead of buying four batteries, now you just had to buy one. So all of those things are wonderful. But on top of all that, you also experience better 12 volt battery performance in your vehicle's 12 volt systems, which means everything except for the electric drivetrain, pretty much. Uh, all of the computers in your car are running on 12 volts, uh, your lights, your stereo. The most notable thing that we hear back from many customers is the stereo sound is better, and that is largely due to having a little more capacity from your 12 volt system and a, f a large reduction in voltage sag. So when the bass notes are hitting and the amplifiers are pulling some current, you don't lose voltage as quickly because uh, lithium batteries are just better at delivering that kind of voltage or uh, that kind of current and keeping their voltage up. So you get all those awesome benefits and please check us out at omu.com to get the batteries from us. Um, any support needs with us, you go to support.omu.com and we'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and enjoy your car.